Hi, I'm Joe Egasquiza, um, the Director of Business Operations for Thrust UAV, um, or sister company to PCS Adventures. PCS Adventures is a STEM education company located in Boise, Idaho. Um, we've been around about 30 years um, working in robotics and uh, engineering. Um, most recently, over the last three or four years, we've gotten into uh, drones and drone technology um, by acquiring Thrust UAV. And uh, we're here at the TSA competition in Twin Falls, Idaho, um, judging drones. It's been an awesome day today. Um, no, I thank, thank you know, uh, Thrust UAV and, you know, Ed Adventures to be here and, um, and support this contest year after year. Um, and uh, um, we're just always very thankful for all of our industry partners that come and, and, and assist uh, our students that are incredible and work so hard for this day skills that they develop throughout the year and come and put them on display um, and kind of show their skills and show what they're able to do uh, you know integrating this into the classroom is something that they can uh, they can learn so many different components of, of technology uh, and they come and put it all into one spot and, and do it here and how uh, important technology. was it to bring the Idaho context to their design challenges you know I, I think when we when we look at where these students are going to go, they're going to if they're going to go out into industry, you know, how, what do they need to know about you know industry in Idaho uh, with with the use of drones? Um, what what problems are out there uh, that they can solve with this technology or with this you know with, with the advancements of this technology? Tell us kind of more about kind of the importance about kind of changing perceptions or highlighting these uses drones for good. Yeah, I, I think one of the things that we've been challenged with is this idea that uh, they're toys, the drones are toys, and they're so much more sophisticated, there's so much more to this than that, um, and we see this in industry, we see this in agriculture, we see this with the Department of Defense, the use and the, and the broad spectrum of, of, of opportunities that exist with this um, you know, with drones and with the UAV technology. Um, so I think that's been the biggest perception we've had to change, even at the, at the academic level, that it's just not a bunch of students playing with, with toys. There's, there's a real application, a real path to, uh, to professional industry with, you know, with our, our drone technology program. not only in Idaho but across the nation overall if they were cheaper or if government you know helped subsidize them um, and if they were taught how useful they could be because really drones are still kind of looked at as just kind of like a hobby s sort of thing when they can be used for so much more with the number one thing. I'd say that I first started flying drones when my parents got me one a while back because I thought it'd be pretty cool to have one and then when I joined TSA um, almost two years ago, I thought that, um, or I saw the drone competition was like, I could do that because I can fly drones. And then it turned out I barely could fly drones, but through the competition I got way better at flying drones. And now I'd say I could probably fly them a lot better than pretty much just any random person. It's really fun being able to go into the FPV and just see the world from a different perspective. I like to fly drones to explore the wilderness because like you can get in like much deeper places. Like if you see like a giant animal and you like you're like, oh I wonder what I wonder what's all the way back there and you don't want to walk back there because it's all brush. Then you can like fly all the way back in there and see what's like back there and you can like find some pretty cool stuff. For some people they could use it to like for search and rescue, they could use drones to like help find where people are instead of sending out real people where it could be dangerous for that person to go out and search. I agree. Well, right now, my family uh, has this street paving business. Uh, asked me, hey Ben, could you give us some footage of uh, the street right here? And it has so many potential uses. I want to be an aerospace engineer, so that's why I see where like, it's going. got to come and present to us and sit down at a table and do a presentation, so we really got to see um, what their thought process was behind drones and how to incorporate drones into problems, um, problems that they foresee either coming up or existing problems that are in Idaho. We had a great one where uh, they did a huge presentation on, or good presentation on, uh, on farming and uh, how utilizing drones in farming um, can help um, save money 
um, be cost effective. So it's pretty neat. And then we had some flight demonstrations or, or some flights where they had a speed test. They got three runs at it and uh, got to go through the little obstacle course back here. And, uh, and then from there, they did uh, a little pickup deal and they picked up these little hoops that are on the ground. I don't know if you can see them in the camera. They had to move those around. Um, that was pretty neat because they didn't really know what to expect, so all of the teams had to come together and work together to find a solution on how to uh, get their drones to be able to pick those up and move them around. And uh, I think we had seven or eight teams and they all worked together. They all used the same little hook and uh, it was pretty cool. Man, just that, the, the team camaraderie and the communication that was happening over here in the test tent when they were trying to figure out how to overcome that problem by move, to move those hoops around. That's such a big, big thing when you, when you go into the employment market, being able to communicate and work as a team um, and communicate effectively um, and be able to bounce ideas off of each other. That, um, that for me is probably one of the biggest things. Yeah, all of the, the tech stuff that they got here and all the STEM education stuff they got here is really important, but that communication, that, that teamwork is a big deal.